All right, hey everyone. Um, I wanted to get back into Bitwig Studio and um, give you a little tool to help you out with your mixes. Now, I want to make a mono maker. Um, Bitwig doesn't have a mono maker. You can make things mono, but let's say you've got a bass sound, and here's one we've prepared earlier. Uh, and it sounds really nice, but it's really wide. So, in this example, I have done this on purpose. I have two um, silent patches with bass the bass sound panned hard and hard right and hard left and uh, what that does is makes the sound really big right but um, what we want to do is we want to try and clean up our mix a bit and mono the sub frequencies so that we've got more room for other elements in our, in our track so how are we going to do that well let's just stop this for a second we're going to go and create a tool we're going to create a mono maker and effectively what it does it just squishes the frequencies in the low range to mono and allows the top end to be as wide as you want. Uh, it's not a complete fix, but it's really good to actually help clean up the mix. If you've made a really nice bass patch and you don't want to split it off into separate parts, like three parts, like um, low, mid, and high, and c compress the bottom end as, as you know mono and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one. So on my bass bus, I've got this ozone elements. Um, uh, plug in here and this is only to help us see what's going on later on it does nothing <laughs> it just it's just a we're just going to see what's going on with the the frequency ranges and see if our plugin actually works that we're going to make right so first of all um we are going to create a bitwig device uh, we need a container and we need uh fx layer so we're going to create one of those and if we push play again, we're not going to hear anything because nothing's passing through. There's no devices. So we're going to click on um, the plus sign here, and we're going to go to Bitwig Device EQ EQ DJ. Uh, it's important that it's this one. You can't use any of the others. The um, the low the low pass and the high pass on these are really tight, and it, 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 it stops the frequencies dead in the track. So that's why I like this one. So we're going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to name this already, so let's name this quickly. So we're going to name this one low. Now on the low one, what I want to do is I want to um, turn down the mid range completely to zero. I want to also turn down the high range to zero because that's important. We only want the low frequency to come through on the low. I'm also going to set the hertz to um, 220. You can go all the way up to 500. At the moment, I haven't worked out how to automate this value with a knob. You can do it, but it's just a little bit tricky um, because there's no feedback. You can't actually see this value changing when you turn the knob, uh, even though it actually is moving the frequency range. So it makes it a little bit difficult to make one. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to leave it out. Um, okay, so that's the low. And what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this blue arrow, which is next to the EQDJ. We're going to add to that a utility, a Bitwig, Bitwig device utility tool. And we click, click OK. And this is where we set the width on the low. So on the low, we want no width. So we're going to take it down to zero. And that effectively is going to squash up our um, subs and bases up to 220 hertz to the center. Completely mono. All right. So now if we play this, all you can hear is the subs coming through and they are dead mono. It should be straight in the middle. So let's take a quick look at this um, image. See right in the center here, that line is completely zero. Now if I undo that, our baseline just goes everywhere. So that's showing, this is why this, um, this plugin's here, is to show you that it's now mono, right? So let's stop that again. We're not done yet. So that's allowing the low to become mono. So now we want to pass the mids and the highs through so we're going to add another device. So we're going to click on this plus again. Uh, choose Bitwig device. EQ again. EQ DJ. We're going to add that. Now on this one, uh, I'm going to rename that one quickly. And make it um, mid high. And on this device, we are going to turn down the low and set the frequency down here to 220 hertz. It's important that we make it exactly the same as the one on our low frequency range. So that's 220 hertz. Uh, the low is down to zero, so that we're cutting out the lows. If we solo that, that is the mids and the highs coming through. 
um, so it's important that you remember that and then if we bring the other one in that's our mids and highs so it shouldn't sound any different when we turn it off apart from the width of the, the, the low end right that's cool so that's it that's pretty much the mono maker now you can um, right click on that and then save preset to library and that'll save it to your library so next time you um, go in here and you want to bring out a mono maker you can load it in with an effect if you load in the effects layer all right so that's cool that's it so let's prove let's prove to ourselves we've done something um, worthwhile so if we bring up the ozone again and we hit play so you can see that the base is everywhere okay that's because um, if we mono if we sorry if we mute to the mids, mids and highs we can see that our sub is still zero um, and if we add them add them back in again that's the, the wide end of the base sort of spread around the place so if we turn it off that is even worse see now the low ends are now all over the place and it makes the mix really really muddy and this is the reason why it exists so um, we can now clean up our mix by clicking our little button turning it on and we're done so another way to look at it is um, through the equalizer and so at the moment it's set to um, mid so we're seeing the mid frequency so if we click on solo that's the mids coming through right so we can still hear that the subs the subs are still in there because they're, they're really wide okay so if we turn it back on again not much changes but here we this is where it changes the most so if we click on side okay, come on show me the side now we're going to solo the side, right? So at the moment we can just hear the, the, the mids to highs coming through. If we turn our little plug-in we made off, now we can hear that the subs are coming through. Okay, so that's just proving a point. We don't want that in the mids, and um, so we don't want that on the side band. So that's it working. So it works. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you understand that. Um, it's not really it's not really too difficult to make. It's really simple but it's a really cool tool to have until Bitwig, Bitwig um, catches up and makes one like Ableton does um, this will work just fine uh, so there you go that's Monomaker and that's how it will help you clean up your mix I'll catch you some other time see ya bye